a lot of talent. It's Johns Hopkins and Virginia. Logan Callahan takes the opening draw for the Blue Jays, and it's Gable Braun for the Cavaliers. No Anthony Gobriel today for UVA. Physicality right off the opening whistle. It's still Braun and Callahan battling under the sun here in Charlottesville, and it's scooped up by Ben Weyer. Virginia wins the opening possession momentarily, taken away by the freshman Quinton Kilrain on the interception. And Jacob Angelus slows things down for... Speaking of defense, you saw Matt Nunes between the pipes for UVA, the reigning ACC Defensive Player of the Week, made 17 saves in their win against Ohio State. Can't stop that one, though. It's Johns Hopkins on the board first. Jonathan Pesco cashes in. Blue Jays run a motion offense, all six pieces in constant movement. And playing off-ball defense is going to be one of the one of the keys for the Cavaliers today. Pesco will take this feed from Bauer, seven. And look at the defense staring at the ball carrier. Pesco cuts to the weak pipe and a one-touch pass Noons. The challenges for Virginia will be a little less on the ball and more off the ball. Who's Hopkins in constant motion with cuts and picks and screens. Again, a battle for the faceoff, and again, Angeles had it. It was hacked free by John Schroeder, big 49 and in white. He's six foot five, and along their starting defense, they've got some really big dudes in front of Noons, who's being hounded right now by Russell Melendez. Gets it out to Mitchell Whalen. And across midfield to Ryan Colsey on that first midfield for Virginia. Colsey to Jack Boyd in the D3 transfer. And he blows it right past Chase Irwin. Boyden's been a revelation for this team, Q. He was the best attackman in D3 last year at Tufts, and he's carried that to the top level of the sport. Transitions part of the DNA of this Cavalier program. Nice job by Colsey to sniff this thing out. And Hopkins caught on a sloppy or late sub. And so it's kind of like a slow five on four break. The Blue Jays have to rotate. Big reason why they're three and oh with wins over Michigan, Richmond and Ohio State, all those ranked teams. But this is their stiffest test yet. Noon's got a piece of that shot from Brendan Grimes. Cole Kastner comes away with it for UVA. He's Joe, Joey's got to mix it up a little. I think everybody has seen his goal against Richmond on the hidden ball trick. Here's McCabe Millen, the do-it-all outstanding freshman for the Hoos. An elite recruit out of McDonough. Here comes Boyden again. His pass deflected and scooped up. There's Scott Smith. Feels like Scott Smith has been drawing the number one assignment for Hopkins for the last five years. In transition, the bouncer snuffed out by Nunes. Matthew Nunes, a starter since he was a freshman here in Charlottesville. Virginia on the run. Schellenberger cranks, kicked aside by Erlen. Big time save by Erlen right there on the four on three. Three seconds later, you got a big save by Nunes and a big save by Erlen. That's what you sign up for. A top ten battle. Kilrain joins the, uh, is assigned the, the Millen matchup. What a feed. Schellenberger to Cormier. Picks the corner in the Cavs lead. Well, welcome to Charlottesville. If you're joining us here on ACC Network, hope you enjoyed the matchup in Chapel Hill. Drew Carter and Quint Kesnick with you. And uh, if you're just joining, you probably know what you missed. Connor Schellenberger to Peyton Cormier and Lars Tiffany's Cavs lead by one. Happy birthday, Peyton Cormier. I mean, Schellenberger's got x-ray vision. He can see through the formation. Hopkins sends a double. You see the two men on number one in white, and that means they crash the crease. Cormier positioned himself on the weak scoring. That's a question mark right now. Well, here's one guy they're excited about, Patrick McIntosh, who's been nursing a hamstring issue all season. Feel like he's finally getting healthy. Now Schellenberger with 20 to shoot. Double team surrounded by black jerseys somehow keeps it. Here's Millen operating from up top around the screen. Feeds Cormier. He's got a goal already. Trying to get his hands free. Five on the timer. Cormier still with it. Schellenberger. Count it. Bounce.
bouncers will go for Connor Schellenberger. Last time he fed Cormier, this time it goes the other way. 3-1 UVA. This is a sensational possession for Virginia. Cormier, he is such a load and draws the double team. Where Hopkins, right there, they send two to him, and everybody kind of crunches the crease area. Look how tight the Hopkins defensive splits are. Schellenberger from, from mid and inside. He is money in the bank with that right hand, especially. Well, beautiful shot. Coming into today, Q, both Schellenberger and Cormier had been struggling by their standards. But Hopkins coming right back with Matt Collison, a lefty hammer from way outside. Collison's a horse. 6'4", sophomore from Ontario, now playing with confidence. Last year, he had 26 goals. He was more assertive in their win in Georgetown against the Swamp Dogs. And look at him. He just barrels his way through this matchup as if the defensive midfielder is not even there, shooting through pressure. Just power in the one-on-one -on -one matchup. Virginia, Victor, New York. Hockey was his primary sport for most of his early years. Here comes Griffin Schutz, who is a freight train. You know, Chase Erland committed to Cornell and Peter Milliman when he was an assistant back in 2015. That's, that's a long time ago. <laughs> Earl in the grad transfer from Cornell, reuniting with his former assistant and head coach, Milliman. Now in his fourth year at Hopkins. Shuts turn, stopped by Earl. He plucked it out of the air and scooped it off the ground. Strong defense on the corner by the Blue Jays. They forced Cormier to inside roll. The double team gets there, and Earl, as we said, shuts the door on the severe angle shot. Here's Degnan, who scored in 35 consecutive games, longest active streak in the country. Now Melendez, matched up with George Fulton, one of those aforementioned tall guys on the back line at six foot six. Angelus on the feet, it's Degnan on the run. He beats Nunes far side, and we are tied at three. And for Garrett Degnan, that's a goal in 36 consecutive games, one off the program record. Make this Virginia defense play off the ball. They're terrific defenders with their length and their range and their athletic ability covering the man with the ball. But off ball, there's going to be some creases and crevices created by cutting and by moving and by changing the defensive assignments. That was just a well-timed cut by Degnan, the lefty graduate student. 14th goal for Degnan, 13th assist for Angeles, both those leading the team. Another win at X for Hopkins. That was Tyler Dunn, the senior from Pennsylvania. Leads to an open rip, and Hopkins takes the lead. Russell Melendez makes it three in a row for the Blue Jays. Fourteen seconds separate the goals by Degnan and Melendez. This game's on pace for, what, 20s? 20s each team. No one can make a stop right now. Hopkins, they're running. Casey McDermott does a good job. He steps in to the structure of the defense and demands the attention of the point man. And then he's got his eyes up. He delivers a strike to Melendez. And Melendez got all day to set his feet. What an epic game that was. Congratulations to, to West Point and the cadets. Joe Alvarici beating Syracuse in, in a great game. And then the Ivy last night taking down uh, both both ACC foes in, in, in Chapel Hill and, and Durham. Crazy night. The tobacco road sweep for the Ivy League last night. Peshko got a hurry, five to shoot. Somehow, from an impossible angle, beats Nunes. It's four in a row for Hopkins, two today for Pesco, and they lead 5-3. Virginia's defense has been bullying people this year on the ball. They've been dominant, winning their on-ball matchups, and they've... Yeah, late arriving crowd on the knoll. They all thought it was going to be cold and rainy. It turns out it's 60 and sunny. Lights still on here at Clockner Stadium. On a pretty day, there's no better place to watch a lacrosse game. Here comes Schutz. Flips it back up top, good ball movement. Ends up with Schellenberger and he deposits it for Virginia's fourth goal today.
And they needed that. Ends a four-goal run for Hopkins. This is team offense, and while people may say, you know, Griffin shots the junior out of Deerfield, not putting up big numbers this year. Well, here's his impact. He's the trigger man as he runs this ball down the right alley, draws the double team or the halfway slide by Hopkins. The ball goes through the top of the formation. Boom, 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 one, two. It's in and out of sticks. Feet set shot from mid-range. I mean, that is just terrific basic offense. It's true at Sunderland. Flips it back to Schellenberger. Looking for a first quarter hat trick. Goes to the question mark, slips against a double team. Leaps over a Blue Jay. It's still loose. Oh, oh wow. Look at the by Sunderland, and he gets it Both to a guys. teammate, McIntosh. Leads to Schellenberger off balance, picked up by Erlen. That's four turnovers against UVA, still none for Hopkins. Can't clear it, though. Those battles right there. These ground ball battles all mean so much in this contest. And one of the Hopkins captains, Bowden Zula, comes away with it. It's him and Degnan, the two captains. They were also captains last year. We're under a minute left in the first. You having fun, huh? It's a pretty good rivalry game. Got to get it across. Woo! Woo! Little Yarts Yarts in yeah. Charlottesville on a Saturday. It away from Scott Smith, who's usually doing that to other people. Cormier on the other end puts it home. We are tied. End to end action. Yard sale on Saturday. In Charlottesville, you can get your field greens, your coffee, your almonds, your nuts, and we're going the other way. Off the ground to get the ball out of there. Physicality at X. Still up for grabs. That goes a little momentum play. See if Hopkins has answers. Don the faceoff man to Angelus. Here's Casey McDermott, a two-way mini for Hopkins. Nice move. This is the shot backed up by the Blue Jays. Seven seconds left in the first quarter. It's a great idea from McDermott. Take a chance there with little time left. Dylan Bauer on the restart. Last second chance. Nunes with the recovery. And... Uh, an area we got to keep our eye on with Anthony Gobriel of Virginia out of the lineup today, basically 50-50 after the first quarter. Uh, Hopkins ball after the loose ball hold against Virginia. Now you mentioned Virginia without Anthony Gobriel. Navy transfer is out today. This is eyeing the ball and makes the catch. Noons with the aggressive outlet, but I love the double team. Chismar stands up Collison. He refuses to let him run through him. He turns him. And then Virginia doubles. Schellenberger loops the pass and shuts, goes top shelf. Who's back on top? Cavs playing with emotion and great energy. Worried about that coming into this contest. It's been uh, midterm week today. And let me tell you, Connor Schellenberger, you're open, he's going to find you. He is the nation's best passer. Left-handed lob pass right on the money, which allows the shooter to catch crow hop and shoot seamlessly. You think about being... And this guy, McCabe Millen, learning from Schellenberger. A skip pass. Again, it finds shots. Left-handed this time. Same result. To back goals for Big 26. Thought his game came to life against Richmond. This is a brilliant pass. Again, through the entire defense. Shots has an outside howitzer. He's got a cannon, so the defense has to rush out to him. Well, he uses that threat. Little pump and go. He gets to the middle. Both guys, high end to the other. The east-west action that they're getting. You know, good offenses attack north-south. They also attack east-west. Right now, Hopkins is sloughed in a little too much, and Virginia is killing them east-west. 
Smith with the interception. Fifth turnover for Virginia. Hopkins, Hopkins clearing today is six for six. There's Dylan Bauer for Max. Now Grimes after the roll. Lefty shot goes. Brendan Grimes had a hat trick at North Carolina last weekend. He's got his first one today, and it ends a four goal Virginia run. Starts with defense. Sticks are up and in the passing lane. That's just a brilliant pickoff. And then, then at the other end, Bauer comes off the pick. Chismar hedges down a little. He's in good position. The rollback's there. That's typically when Virginia would double team. When you turn your back to this defense, they love to double from the adjacent man. And I think Chismar turns him there, anticipating that he's got help. Well, it doesn't come. And Grimes, the lefty, buries it from distance. In a hurry, Hopkins ties the game. Tyler Dunn straight from the X to the promised land. Two goals in six seconds for the visitors. That's how it's done. The senior from Calvert Hall, he's their second option. He's kind of their relief pitcher when it comes to faceoffs. Pumps the point man, he's not given the respect. The scrappy competitor, he's known as a guy with good exits and good speed. Typically, he won't win the clamp, but two men right now, or I'm going to hit you with a delay, a game penalty. Is there a specific rule on that, Q? Because, like, in hockey, you get last change if you're the home team. I'm not, sure, what that, I'm not sure if there is. Fourth stop for Matt Nunes. Here comes Cole Kastner. Let's it fly and scores! Plus the flag! The former ACC Defensive Player of the Year with a pole goal for Virginia. Noons all over that. Pegs him in the chest, and then the rebound control comes up to the Wahoos. Cole Kastner is a six foot seven senior out of the Bay Area. Grew up in the shadows of Stanford University. And there's a shot next year. He's going to take an extra year and play college basketball. But what stands out to me about noon on the, the practice fields here. Well, that was the fruit they crushed after practice yesterday. This team's got a great culture, don't they? they just like hanging out with, with, with oh. their players, with their staff like the way they approach everything, the business and the fun part of it. More physical defense, ends up with Degnan, rips it from straight away, and buries another. Garrett Degnan has his second of the day. We're tied for the fifth time in the first half. Hagler Hearns. I mean, it's, it's just constant action. Great pass. I think it's Evan, it's Evan says he's falling, and Degnan it's just kind of settled. He's hovering at the top of the formation. Let me tell you, this big lefty, you see the torque. You see he's got a, a slow release, but he's so gigantic, long arm. Look, tearing radio analyst for Virginia. Took it to a jeweler. They got a new base for it. It looks great. Shots on the shot. Five ball. Bullseye. A first half hat trick for Griffin Shots. And Virginia's back in front. The pace of this game is relentless. I think at this stage, you're defensively like, what can we do to help our goalie out? What can we do defensively to maybe minimize the chance of offensive scoring? Because it's been all, all gas. Or twice already. Angeles from X. Under 10 to shoot. Noons with another stop. Fight for it. Noons out of the crease. Carnage. He pounced. Nicely read by Noons. Potential yeah, high hit. Yeah, Bauer's going to get flagged. Two flags out. The players have to change their technique when hitting. If you come with a cross check motion, you're typically going to get fouled for, for direct use. 
So you just think about what he accomplished in that time period. It's not as easy as today. You send an email, you send a text, you can send a PDF file. Uh, so just an amazing investment in the game. Millen from a sharp angle bounces it in, and Virginia takes advantage on the man up, and their lead is back to two. Great timeout by Lars Tiffany, and excellent job by Kevin Cassis, their offensive coordinator. To just take a deep breath, and they keep it simple. Virginia has been lethal on set pieces off of timeouts this year, Drew, whether it's extra man or all even. There's been two or three wrinkles a game that Coach Cassis, who's their new OC, former head. I think the, the team offense has, has been effective. It, it's worked. There's been a lot of wing dodges. They start on a wing, kick it up through, through the top of the formation, and then to the weak side. Both teams with 21 shots exactly today. Fight for it on the end line. It's a nice double team by Zul at 44 and Black. On the board. Symmetry there. Both these teams go deep in terms of scoring output. Hopkins had the edge at the faceoff X in the first half. And they win the first one here with Tyler Dunn. It's been mostly number 30 in Black as opposed to Callahan. And Dunn has been successful now. 13 to 8 Hopkins at the X. Look at where. It's all over Casey McDermott. Yeah, every, every inch, every... Virginia will have to support this matchup. Bowers got quits. Well, Terenzi stuck to him like glue. Good skip. Pesco buries it. It's a hat trick for Jonathan Pesco. Came in with two goals in their first five games. He's got three today. And Hopkins has their first goal in almost 15 minutes of action. Cause and effect. Sticks up in the passing lane. Great one-handed snag. And then clear at the other end. You know, Virginia's been putting the pole on Bauer. Seven in black for most of this game. Hopkins got a change in this matchup. And then Bauer presses the corner. Draws all the eyes in the posture of the defense. See all those white jerseys? Like Mitchell Whalen was a little hobbled running off for Virginia. Maybe he got stepped on. And Hopkins cashes in. 19 seconds apart. Back-to-back -back goals, and it's Hunter Chauvet, the freshman from Shaker Heights, Ohio. He's not gotten many runs in this ball game. 34 in black, the freshman. But when you talk about a shooting stroke, I think about guys like Coulter Mackesy, and then I think about Chauvet. I mean, the confidence from big-time distance. That's 15-plus shooting off the hip of the defender, and look at the location. Nunes gets no stick movement towards that shot, but he paints that lower corner. Championship he played in 2022 for Cornell. Peter Melliman's old program. Nine saves today for Chase Erlin. And a takeaway for Virginia. It was Tommy McNeil, 21 in white, who came away with it. Here comes Terenzi. Gets it back from Cormier and puts it in. Joey Terenzi flex on him. Gets like the Tasmanian devil out there. He is everywhere. They love him here in Charlottesville. The sophomore, Mr. Excitement, Mr. Early Offense. Three seconds on the man up for Virginia. They're better than 50% on the season. Millen scored on the extra man in the first half. That was the final goal of the second quarter. Look at the ball movement. Another flag is out. So this one's against Hopkins. Shots for Schellenberger. Giving Millen some yardage here for a shot. Shots tried to skip the pass. That's okay, knowing that the flag's down. You can take a chance. <laughs> the scene, you know it's a big game. <laughs> well, you know, but you can. It was get some TV time yesterday at the Duke game. Duke Penn. Virginia has another. And Ryan Colsey has scored in every game this season. They take advantage on the man up. Their lead is back to two.
effective extra mans have always a good threat on the inside. This time it's the lefty calls you, places himself in, in, the, in the middle of the nucleus of this Hopkins defense. The check is there, it's just a little late. Stabner gives Cole. Here's Melendez, back to Angeles. Three in black is Stu Phillips, a man-up specialist for Hopkins. Great ball movement, and Collison pots it. Two goals for Matt Collison today. Johns Hopkins scores with the extra man, 12-11. Outstanding recognition of what's going on with Degnan shut out. Hopkins sets up their formation. They're really patient, some snappy passing, and Collison puts himself in the middle, in the epicenter of that four-man Virginia rotational defense. That's where it's going to be vulnerable. Angelus des delivers a strike to the lefty. Grimes with the short stick, Jaeger. Makes his move with 20 on the clock. Back to Collison, picks it up, shoots. Noons the save, can't find it. Picked up by Ware. Nine saves for Matt Noons. Here's Schellenberger, just under 10 seconds left in the third. Jaeger on the run, shoots. Saved by Erlen. Let's go to the fourth. 12 saves for Chase. It's 12-11 Virginia. Both teams have taken exactly 32 shots. It has been evenly matched from the jump. Feels like the defenses in that third quarter settled down, had a better plan, gave their goalies a chance to make some stops, Drew. And Chase Earl, he only had one in the first quarter, so 11 in the second and third. And we've got ourselves a tie game. Jonathan Pesco with his fourth of the day. 12-12, early fourth. Slick little two-man play between Collison and Pesco. Blue Jay Bananas are here in full force. Little over-the-shoulder toss. Pesco cuts. Defender has got poor leverage. He, Terenzi's on the inside. Not much he could do about that as Pesco cuts through. Get out of your drought. Ayers has got wheels. Four in black. Two goals last week against Carolina. His first career points, the freshman out of South Hamilton, Mass. Here he is, four in black against Erdman. That one trickles through, and Hopkins is back in front. It's a hat trick for Garrett Degnan. Offensive coordinator John Crawley puts Ayers into the game, as he did last week, and they go to the invert, whether it's a double invert or single. This one's a double invert. He and Angelus back there. Ayers presses right-handed, really well-timed cut from dead them. And I thought we'd see more of this today. I thought against this Virginia defense, Hopkins would get the ball behind and try to beat him with cutters. Capitalize on Virginia. B Trying to shake free of Kastner, who's done a great job today. Now Peshko against Terenzi. Four goals for the senior from Ontario, Peshko. 30 to shoot, Collison gets some space, it's deflected in! Melendez might have gotten a piece of that on its way in. That looked like a hockey goal. It's 14-12 Hopkins. Four in a row since the third quarter for the visitors. Hopkins has really kept their poise offensively and structurally. They're doing some nice things. They set up a pick for Collison. There's a strong screen right here by Pesco. Look at what that does. It allows him to turn the corner. The importance of setting great picks. Huge. Some set pieces off of timeouts. Some really structured plays. I, I sense that Schellenberger's got to be involved. I think he's got really good juice in his legs. He looks eager. He looks like he wants to take this game over. He's the trigger man against Scott Smith. Somehow gets through the double. Floats the pass for Millen. His shot stopped by Erlen. 
Walked out of the air by Patrick Deans, and the long stick midi still has it. 14 saves for Chase Erland. What a close. That's a close defenseman, Ben Weyer. Now Collison. After he scarfed down a banana on the sideline. Still has Terenzi. Active stick by Mike Prestopino. 15 and white, and it's taken away by John Schroeder. After celebrating a birthday yesterday, his pass deflected by Smith. Schellenberger scoops it. Wow, guys like Aruba on the ride. Goes to the left hand and scores! A Tawaraton moment from Connor Schellenberger. One goal game. You can feel it in Schellenberger. You can see it in his play in the last three or four minutes. And he pays a massive price on this. Look at the punishment that he's willing to endure to get this ball. Right here's a slash coming up on Hopkins. Degnan chops him at the hip. He takes it to the middle, gets it tangled in the stick, and then you see the emotion. Number one for Virginia, Connor Schellenberger, wants to lead, leave his legacy with a championship. He senses that this game is on the line. RQ, the nuance of this matchup, Hopkins has a lot of smaller, quicker guys against Virginia's huge defensemen. Virginia has not gotten their double teams going today. Hopkins has done a good job of not rolling back. Under 10 seconds, a shorthanded goal! Jacob Angelus! How's that for a juice goal? I was talking about these exact scenarios with John Crawley, Johns Hopkins offensive coordinator, before the game. I said, this year with these unreleasable penalties, and this one wasn't unreleasable, but there's been more man up, man down face-offs, more man up, man down clearing, some even man down offense. Hopkins spreads Virginia out. The Cavs are pressing out, looking for the turnover, but Angeles pulls the string. Area, <laughs> big goal. <laughs> Man up face-off win for Virginia. Schellenberger, bullseye! Colucci won the face-off, got it to one for his fourth goal today. Six seconds after Hopkins went back up by two, Virginia cuts it to one. and pop out the front side. Good handle by Colucci. Surprised Hopkins slid. They vacated Schellenberger. 481. The rotation is a, a, a second late. And Schellenberger launches that over the shoulder of the defender. And can you feel it? I'm he knows this is his last chance to win another national championship. Some space. That lefty shot gobbled up by Erlen. 15 saves for Chase Erlin. It's a great save. Strong top. Ayers with a step. Noons with a save. Matt Noons composed in the second half. Decisive with the tomahawk chop, protecting the five hole. He's the backup. Erlin may have been out of bounds. Oh, big mistake Erlen's from the experienced goalie. He needed to decelerate. He was trying to win the backup, ended up touching the ball when he was out of bounds. Shots, Colsey, Ooh. just missed. That was a funky shot, we had a great angle. Hopkins has one timeout to go. They used a defensive timeout earlier. But things are getting, <laughs> things getting a little crazy here, aren't they? And with three seconds on the timer, Millen We'll take the shot clock violation. Well, here comes the full field 10-man ride. Noons is about 10 yards north of the goal. The empty, it's an empty. Can keep attacking if you're the Jays. Again, with the shot clock here. If you do turn this over, you want it to be behind the Virginia net. That way you can get back and deny transition. <laughs> 90 seconds on the game clock, 10 seconds on the shot clock. Collison's got a hat trick today, and he scores again. He had goal. He just curls top side. Jaeger's in good position. May have been a partial screen, but the, the challenge.
challenge here for a goalie is he's moving, the goalie's moving to his right. See, Noon shift off the pipe, and he just opens up a sliver of inside pipe. And man, Carlson put that to perfection back to the near side. So as a goalie, when you leave that pipe with your left. Under a minute to play. Both teams have a timeout. Schellenberger, Colsey, save, Erlin. Another stop. 16 saves for Chase Erlin. None bigger than that one. 10-man ride now, empty net. Look deep. They fire it all the way down the field. A turnover by Hopkins. Over the head. Out there and chase it down. Well, Bauer just flings it as high as he possibly can, trying to milk some clock. It lands with 19 seconds left. Noon's triggers. Jaeger. Here comes Terenzi. They got to score and got to score fast. Jaeger to Millen. Pass deflected. And that's going to do it. The Doyle Smith Cup is heading back to Baltimore for the first time since 2018. Johns Hopkins knocks off Virginia.